Shifting focus now, Paris is burning. For the third night running, pitched battles are being fought in the suburbs of Paris. But even as the riots broke out, French President Emmanuel Macron has been missing in action. He was spotted grooving to a selection of Elton John hits. He may have been swaying to Candle in the Wind, but these pictures of Macron at the Accor Arena could add further levels to uh, the flames of unrest licking away at His political opponents have been quick to pounce, and these pictures draw immediate parallel with the decadent Roman Emperor Nero, who reportedly played the fiddle when Rome was burning in 64 AD. Now Macron is trying to reformulate a plan to contain the chaos, as he will be holding a new crisis meeting today. For this, he will have to cut short a trip to Brussels, where he is attending a European Union summit. Fire and fury for a third consecutive night across France as demonstrators protest against the fatal police shooting of a teenage boy. Up to 600 arrests have been made, but President Emmanuel Macron and the Paris mayor are right now holding crisis talks to deal with the escalation in violence. The city of light, under the cover of darkness, looking more like a war zone. Anger is raging in Paris over the fatal police shooting of a 17-year-old, violence spreading across the country. 40,000 police were deployed to combat the unrest, but could do little to deter demonstrators. From Lille in the north to Marseille in the south. Everything was a target. Shops and supermarkets stormed. Buses, even construction cranes set alight. Heavily armed riot police were simply outnumbered. This is how the French police tried to regain control by surging their numbers. Here in Nanterre, they faced another night of running battles, now using armoured vehicles and specialised SWAT teams to enter these volatile estates. You could see there were more police, but it did nothing to stem the tension and the anger. Blue lights mixed with the orange glow of flames. The roads here are full of scorch marks and peppered with burnt out cars. Tonight, Ethiopia's Prime Minister and France's President meet at the Elysee. Abiy Ahmed headed here on his first trip to Europe since taking office in April, and Paris is keen to support the reforms brought in under the Ethiopian leader. Also አብያተ ክርስቲያናት ለማታደግ ከኢትዮጵያ የቀረብላትን ጥያቄ በመቀበል ስራውን ለማገዝ ፈቃደኝነቷን መግለጫውን ጠቅላይ ሚኒስትር ዶክተር አብይ አህመድ ተናገሩ ጠቅላይ ሚኒስትር ዶክተር አብይ አህመድ ወደ ስልጣን ከመጡ ወዲህ ከአካባቢው ማህበረሰብና ከቤተ ክርስቲያኒቱ በቀረበላቸው ጥያቄ መሰረት ቅርሱን ለመታደግ የተለያዩ ስራዎች እየተከናወኑ ነው በተለይም ደግሞ በቅርስ ጥበቃ ዘርፍ የተሻለ ልምድና ዕውቀት ካላቸው ሀገራት